you know, for an entertainer like you, I think that ultimately, if you're so, if you've entertained enough to where people are going to remember you long after you're gone, you've kind of done what you set out to do. And I feel like you have definitely achieved that already. So it's, 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 it's fascinating for me to hear how you still feel like you need to keep pushing for that when, you know, you've done so much to where your name is definitely going to be remembered long after you're gone. And I think it's interesting to hear that you still feel the pressure to keep doing it though. I, I do, man. I feel like, um, I, I I'm not going to stop. You know what I'm saying? Until the wheels fall off. And, and like I said, music is what got me involved with wrestling. And, and now that I'm at a mature state in my life and with myself, and I know myself, I know who I am. I know I can control an audience. I, I, I know I attract people. I have eyes on me. I know I can compel people. So they're getting a, mat- a matured album. They're getting a matured story of who I am and where I come from and what I'm about and the way I look at things, the way I look at life, the things I want, the things I've experienced. I have a song on, on the EP called Dubai. And at first, I didn't want to do it. And I told uh, Jay Travis, I said, man, nobody will hear a song about Dubai. He said, there are lots of people that only will read about Dubai, hear about it, and will never experience it. They may be fans of yours and know that you went there and they will let, you, you can tell them what happened over it. It's real. It's real. So it's just, the song, man, just the, the, once you start, it comes alive. From the whole, from the beginning of the EP to the end of it, it comes alive. And it's just a mature our truth one. And it's just a mature me giving you my legacy. Well, I feel like, too, you, I think you underestimate in talking about that Dubai thing. I feel like you underestimate how many fans you probably have in Dubai, too. You're right. You're <laughs> right, man. And it ended up, Brian, it ended up being one of my favorite songs, one of my most favorite songs on the EP. I'll tell you a funny story about it. When we first started the song, he asked me, he said, um, what did you do when you were over there? You know, what, what, what did you like? What did you, I said, ah, uh, did you eat any of uh, the authentic food over there? I said, yeah. I said, like, we ate with the prince and everything. And he's like, what was your favorite dish? And honestly, they had chicken. It was good. You know what I'm saying? It was chicken, but it was marinated and stuff like that. So actually the song started off, um, I eat chicken when I'm in Dubai. <laughs> and after singing it, man, two or three times, Ryan, I like, dog, I can't put a song out talking about I eat chicken when I'm in Dubai. <laughs> I said, it's just not gonna, it's right. Yeah. You feel me, Ryan, yes, right? Yes, yes, It's not coming off right, bro. It was like, you know what I'm saying? Travel the world, they ask what I like. I eat chicken when I'm, I said, nah, dog, I can't. It's, it's not gonna settle with people well. Yeah. So we actually changed it, man. And it turned out beautifully, man. It, it, it's a song I know a lot of people are going to like that haven't been to Dubai. And people that live in Dubai, it's going to be like their national anthem. For the best stories, easy to find scores and comprehensive team pages, plus access to every live Fox Sports game and exclusive bonus cameras, download the all new Fox Sports app now. 